point blank. You know, we, shit, I was feeling good in the second round. Throwing, had a good movement going, and shit, he just went for the takedown. What was the game plan for you? Was it to hopefully be able to stop those takedowns and just land the big shot? Yes, for sure. Um, really, in the third round, we thought we had the upper hand um, to really finish the fight in the third. And my breathing was good, everything was good. You know, uh, we just had to wait until the third round to really turn it on. What did Daniel say to you after the fight? It looks like you guys you know, exchanged some words in the cage. Uh, he just said, um, keep my head up basically and just keep going. I'll be back. And how do you feel right at this moment about your future? It's all, you've obviously been you know, super active in the past few years, the most active heavyweight on the roster. Are you looking forward to some time off now? Yeah, for sure. Um, shit, hopefully I don't have to fight no more this year. Get some time off and they can hit me up before the summer and next year. And just last thing, um, obviously you took this fight very short notice. You had a tough fight a few weeks ago. Uh, you said all the right things leading up to it, but are you able to reveal now how, you know, were you in the shape that you said you were in leading into this fight? Were you as healthy as you, you know, were saying pre-fight? Yeah, I was pretty good. Nothing was hurting. My conditioning was there. Probably like one of the best shapes I've ever been in, you know, physically and um, mentally, really. Derek, just uh, when you look back, do you think that maybe you wish you had some more time to prepare for someone like D DC? Obviously, he has a very high level of wrestling, you know, full camp instead of just, you know, four weeks notice, even though you were having this fight until about three weeks ago. Um, not at all. You know, I was still in good shape. You know, I've been wrestling and learning how to do wrestling and defense my whole um, career, so it was nothing, nothing new. He said in the post fight that you did catch him with one coming in that, uh, that bothered his eye. Do you remember, do you recall that one, and, and was there anything to kind of build on from there, do you think, for, for you? Um, not really, you know. Um, shit, I didn't feel anything whenever I hit him. If I did hit him, I didn't feel it. And then just the uh, last thing, this whole experience, obviously there's a loss, but there were some gains financial, sponsorship-wise. A good experience overall for you, you think? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Real quick, so obviously the goal had been obviously trying to take his head off. Um, you, we'd seen in the lead up, you had a lot of good wrestling get-ups, uh, get up off your back, get up off your sides. Um, was there, were you expecting that low single that he kept going after, you kept going more with the ankle pick and getting real, real low on you? Was that in the camp that you've been working on or did that not come up? No, was, he did pretty good on that. You know, I didn't expect for him to do that. Um, I guess that's part of the ch chain wrestling or something like that they call it. So he did pretty good on that. He caught me off guard. Uh, from your perspective, Derek, um, Daniel, he's uh, building quite a legacy. Do you think he could be one of the greatest heavyweight fighters of all time when it's all said and done for him? <laughs> I don't know, man. Shit. We'll just see. See how things go, you know? Shit. He just, this is a second heavyweight fight. I don't know. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek.